Hello everyone, I uh, hope you all are doing well. Students usually find development of tooth a difficult topic, but I'll try to make it as simple as possible without excluding important information. So this is the session one. Uh, watch this session till the end and uh, watch all of these sessions in order to avoid any confusion. So what we are going to cover, so the session outline is uh, we will discuss some background concepts like deciduous and permanent dentitions uh, very briefly. Uh, we will briefly discuss the anatomical planes and very briefly we will also discuss about the structure of the oral cavity. We will discuss the developing oral cavity, its lining epithelium and the connective tissue. We will discuss the formation of the primary epithelial band and we will discuss the structures that are derived from the primary epithelial bands called the vestibular and the dental lamina. So we will briefly cover this as well. Uh, in this uh, session, I'll only tell you about the names of the stages of tooth development. In the next session, we will talk about each of the, the stages in detail. So this is a picture of the complete deciduous dentition. Here it is important that you should count the number of teeth in the deciduous dentition. So the total number of teeth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 teeth in the upper arch and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 10 in the lower arch. So the total number of teeth are 20. So uh, now move to the next. So this is the permanent dentition. So this is a picture of the permanent dentition. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight in each half and eight in this half. So the total number of teeth in the maxillary arch is 16. And in the lower arch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight on the another side. So 16 in the lower arch and the total number are 32 part the total number are 32 if you already know this very good but if you don't know don't worry i am here to explain all these basics for you so anatomical the anatomical planes so if the body is equally divided into two equal halves then it is known as the sagittal plane from the midline this plane is the horizontal plane and another plane, this plane, which is dividing the body again into two halves, but not anterior posterior, posteriorly. Uh, this plane is the coronal plane. We will discuss this in our upcoming slide. So the oral cavity, this is the clinical picture of the oral cavity. In this picture, you can see there's a space between the buccal mucosa and the dental arch over here. So this space is known as the vestibular space. Similarly, in the anterior portion between the lips and the dental arch, this space, this whole complete space between the mucosa and the dental arch is the vestibular space. In the next picture you can see, so this space that is present between the buccal side and between the labial mucosa and the anterior dental arch. This all space is the vestibular space. So the initiation or the start of tooth development. So the initiation of tooth development, the, uh, the, this continuous band of thickened epithelium is formed in, in the sixth week. Band of thickened epithelium is formed and this band is formed in the developing oral cavity so this band is formed in the upper arch and another band is formed that represent the lower arch in the area where the 
upper and the lower jaw will develop later. So this epithelial thickening is formed and this epithelial thickening is basically ectodermal in origin. So now this epithelial thickening is known as the primary epithelial band. So these bands are the primary epithelial bands. Now, below the epithelium, there is a connective tissue and the connective tissue is basically mesenchymal in, in origin and the mesenchyme has neural crest cells as well. Now, the primary epithelial band, uh, it will give rise to localized thickenings. For example, again, let me draw again primary epithelial band for you. So, there's epithelial thickening and uh, you can you, you know that epithelial thickening is usually due to uh, the division of cells so this is one thickening and this is another thickening Sorry. <laughs> it is not very symmetrical <laughs> so uh, there are 10 thicknings in the upper arch so I'm drawing one, one side only for you one two three, four, sorry, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And And five on another side as well so the total number of thicknings will be 10 and if you remember I have told you there are 10 teeth in the deciduous dentition there are 10 teeth in the upper arch and 10 in the lower arch so these are the 10 thicknings that are formed uh, in the primary epithelial band and these thicknings actually they are invaginating or they are going inside the connective tissue portion so these thickenings that are going inside the connective tissue, they will give rise to, for example, let me draw it for you. So for example, I'll take one thickening from here, this one. So this is the epithelial band. There is a front and that thickening is going inside like this. And th these thicknings, it will give rise to two divisions. One is the dental lamina and another thickening is the vestibular lamina. So it will give rise to two, uh, two structures. One is the dental lamina, another one is the vestibular lamina. This, uh, this single thickening, it will give rise to two structures. Okay, uh, And this all happens during the seventh week of development. Now, this is a developing oral cavity. Uh, I have, as, as I told you, it is lined by the ectoderm and the connective tissue, it is mesenchymal and in uh, with some neural crest cells. So, this is one thickening. So, this is one thickening in the next picture. Now, this one thickening, it will give rise to two structures. The structure that is present lingually, this is a tongue and this is the oral epithelium. So this structure is the dental lamina. And this structure is the vestibular lamina. So I have written DL, DL means dental lamina. And we all mean the vestibular lamina. So the remaining structures, so here. So this is the tongue. This is the oral epithelium and the epithelial, this is a single epithelial thickening. So there will be 10 epithelial thickenings in the lower arch that will correspond to individual deciduous teeth and 10 in the upper arch that will correspond to individual deciduous teeth. So this is a just one epithelial thickening and I'll explain the tooth development on this single epithelial thickening. So 
this is the oral epithelium this is the dental lamina and this is the vestibular lamina this is the connective tissue and it there's condensation of the mesenchyme it means the cell density is more around the dental lamina so this process is known as the condensation of the mesenchyme so the epithelium and the connective tissue this is the epithelium part this is a connective tissue part they are separated with a membrane that is called basement membrane so the epithelium epithelial cells and the connective tissue cells they are separated with each other so as the name suggests dental so dental lamina will give rise to the mainly to the to the structure of the tooth or it has a main contribution in the development of tooth so series of epithelial growths into the meson ectomesenchyme as i have told you in the previous slides the ectomesenchyme cells accumulate around these epithelial growths again the same picture so series of epithelial growths this is one epithelial growth so there will be a series and the mesenchyme or the connective tissue it accumulate around this epithelial in growth now tooth development proceed in three stages and the cells at the end of this dental lamina they will proliferate and there will be three stages one is the bud stage it means that the cells over here uh, this structure it will assume a bud shape structure then the bud will transform into a cap and the last stage is the bell stage of tooth development so these are the three stages of tooth development now the vestibular lamina if you remember the structure of the oral cavity that i have told you few slides back then there is a vestibule so initially there is proliferation of vestibular lamina into the ectomesenchyme the so cell they proliferate they multiply but what happens next this is the proliferation of the epithelium into the mesenchyme in the next stage what happens the cells then degenerate to form a cleft because there's a space between the dental arch and the buccal uh, surface so you can see now there is a degeneration of cells and this de degeneration of cells has led to cleft formation so but this de degeneration is a programmed degenerate degeneration and we call it as apoptosis if it is a pathological one then we call this degeneration as necrosis thank you very much for watching uh, in the next sessions i'll explain the bird cap and the bell stages of tooth development if you have any questions you may ask in the comments uh, thank you very much for watching do give me your feedback